that what you want? My goodness. <laughs> this is like so something we would do. That's how you say that? Cousin, cousin, cousin. Cousin? Cousin. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Hello friends and welcome back to our kitchen. So y'all have been loving these casserole recipes. So today I found another one that is gonna be so delicious. We're gonna make a chicken cordon bleu casserole. Y'all, I cannot wait. And I also wanna say a big thank you to Sunday for sponsoring today's video. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about them in just a few minutes. So let's go ahead and get this casserole going. Okay, so this recipe calls for cooked chicken. So to make it easy, of course, I just went and got a rotisserie chicken. I pulled all the chicken off. I'm trying to get the skin off as well. And then I'm just gonna chop this up into bite-sized pieces. If you have like leftover grilled chicken or whatever you wanna use, um, that's fine as well. And Daisy Mae is howling because she wants all the chicken. I think her favorite thing besides cheese is a rotisserie chicken. Now, the recipe does say to kind of prep some things. <laughs> eat all the rotisserie chicken while you're doing it mm. um but we need to run the rice underneath some cold water mm -hmm. i'm gonna get that chicken off your lip Did I get it? yeah and then we gotta shred some cheese so that we can get everything in the pot block cheese oh yeah so it's melty yeah the recipe definitely says to grate your own cheese don't use the back cheese so we're gonna use this one you know who else said that monkey who uncle mark he did, didn't he? He said, do the work. That's right. For those of you who know. Okay, and while I have my cheese grater out, because y'all asked me every single video about this, it was gifted to me from one of you guys, but I am 99% sure that it was purchased on QVC. <laughs> she loves the chicken. Um, so anyway, QVC is where it came from, and if I can find it, I will try and link it for y'all as well. He says that he's seeing as we go. He says part of his job in the kitchen is that I make a mess and he cleans up behind me. <laughs> if, you, if you only knew how many little things I do behind, <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> I grab little packages that have been opened, put them away. All the things. All sorts of little You're so good to me. tips and tricks. Okay, we gotta do this rice. Yeah, under cold water. Cold water. So the recipe says to use um, one and a quarter cups of rice. So there's one cup. Hold that for me, B. You're just eyeballing that? Yeah, I think that's about a quarter cup. Okay, run that under cool to cold water for like a minute. Bunky cannot believe this, but I'm gonna put onion in here and then try and eat around it. But we're gonna go ahead and kind of dice up this onion. And then you need three cloves of garlic minced as well. What kind of cut are we looking for? Just like a good dice. Now, the bigger you can leave it for me to be able to pick around, the better. We actually only have five cloves left. So you wanna do all of them? Throw them all in there. I say do all of them. Okay, so now that we got pretty much all of our prep work done, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking everything. And the goal is to cook everything in this one pot and then we'll put it in the casserole dish. That way you have way less cleanup. So go ahead and get two tablespoons of butter, put it in your pot, let that melt, and then we're gonna add in our onions and just cook those for about five minutes until they're soft and translucent. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add our onion in. And then once that's softened, we'll go ahead and add in our garlic. That was a good shot there, boo. Thank you. <laughs> And also you wanna make sure that you get a pot that is big enough to hold everything because you're gonna put your rice in here, your chicken broth, all of that. So you wanna make sure you're using a decent sized pot to cook all of this. Get all that garlic, y'all. Bunky did a good job mincing it. Mm. You know what, I don't like onions, but I love the way they smell whenever they're cooking. Okay, so now that our onions are nice and soft, we're gonna add in our garlic. We're also gonna add in about half of a teaspoon of garlic powder and then some fresh thyme. Quality control. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> mm, my 
gosh. Bulky said he just wanted to eat those onions with a spoon. And? And you are. Ooh. Okay, little bit of garlic powder. I'm not gonna measure this, just gonna give it like a little sprinkle. Yeah, not too much. We got a lot of real yeah. garlic in there already. We probably could have skipped that step, but you know. Okay, and then for my time, I don't wanna put the stems in, so I'm just gonna kind of pull gently those little leaves off. We had to remove from heat momentarily. So that garlic doesn't burn. Okay, we're gonna let this cook for just like about a minute, and then we're gonna add in some olive oil, our chicken broth, and our rice. All right, so now we're ready to cook our rice. So you're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil, and we'll eyeball it. That's good. Oh. <laughs> Extra smooth. Yes, and then you're gonna add in your rice, and the reason that we rinsed it was so that it would not stick to the bottom of this pot. So very important to rinse your rice before you add it in. Don't? Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then you're gonna put two and a half cups of chicken broth. We use the better than bouillon just cause y'all know we love that. But two and a half cups, cover the rice. We're gonna stir this to combine. Then once it comes to a simmer and we put our lid on, we're gonna let it cook for 15 minutes without stirring it at that point. <laughs> This is in like pure bunky fashion, okay? I would agree, yes. This is like so something we would do. <laughs> <laughs> did we used to have a lid for this pot? I really think we did, Bunk. I don't know where it is though. Well, we were trying to make a dish in one pot, but apparently it's gonna be two. Because we thought that the um, lid we have for this fit this one, but instead it fits that one. So, so we gotta transfer. It's time for a transfer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all, would it even be us if we did not do oh, this? See, this says cuisine art, and this says cuisine art. That's how you say that? Cuisine art. No. Cuisine art, Bunky. That's no, cuisine art. No, are you lying? Well, cuisine, cuisine, cuisine. Cuisine? Cuisine. Cuisine art. Oh, cuisine art. Oh my gosh, you are hilarious. <laughs> okay, how are you gonna do this? W one of us is gonna uh, hold that and the other one's gonna dump this. Okay, I'm gonna hold. You wanna be the holder? Yeah, I wanna be the holder. All right, because we're up to our simmer now. Yeah, so this we're, is very we're important ready, step. We're ready for the transfer, immediate transfer. This is probably not good. I'm trying not to splash you. Okay, we'll get the rest of this rice okay. in there. Okay, we're gonna bring this back to a simmer for just a second and then we will pop our lid on. The proper lid. The proper lid. Mm, look at those onions in there. I know, I'm nervous. And also, I will have this actual recipe linked in the description box for you so that you can follow it and not us. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to cook for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna turn the heat off and let it sit in there for 10 more minutes. And that way, if there's any rice stuck to the bottom of the pan, it should release and we should be all good. And then we're gonna add everything else and then transfer it to our casserole dish. But while the rice is cooking, I do wanna say a huge thank you to Sunday for sponsoring today's video. Y'all, when we moved in this house, our yard, was pretty bad. <laughs> like nothing had been done to it in quite some time. And so we have spent a lot of time trying to bring it back to life. And we are so thankful for Sunday for helping us bring it back to life. Bunky is in love. So let me tell you a little bit more about them. So if you don't know, Sunday is an annual subscription that provides all of your lawn care products that you're gonna need from fertilizer to weed control to seed, all customized based on your region, climate, soil, and your yard. Like y'all, it's pretty amazing. And Sunday always uses simple ingredients like seaweed, iron, and molasses to keep your lawn free of any harsh chemicals and pesticides, which is so important to me so that I can feel good about letting little Daisy May run wild in our backyard and not have to worry. So Sunday combines unique data with cutting edge science to help you grow a greener, better lawn with mystery free ingredients. And all you do is go to their website and type in your address to start your lawn analysis. And then you're gonna get your customized lawn care plan in just seconds. And then you're gonna get everything right to your doorstep right when you need it. 
we cannot wait to get rid of all of these weeds and just enjoy some beautiful green grass in our new house all summer long. And if you want to try Sunday as well, head over to GetSunday.com slash Jessica O'Donohue now to get 20% off with my code, which is Jessica O20. And I will have all of this linked down in the description box. Okay, so now that we have let this rest, we're just gonna add everything else into this pot and then stir it all together and add it into our casserole dish. So of course you're gonna need some ham if you're making chicken cordon bleu. So I just went over to the deli section. Y'all know we love boar's head and I found this ham steak. So any ham steak is fine. We're gonna go ahead and um, cube this up and then we're gonna add Parmesan, our chicken. Of course you have to have Swiss cheese. We're also gonna add some milk, some cream of chicken soup, sour cream, Dijon mustard, and our cheddar. Like, does this not sound incredible? I'm so excited. Okay, the recipe says to add in half a cup of sour cream, which is just about what I have left in this container, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and dump all this in. Okay, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard one cup of milk you got our ham cut for us look at that oh i just ate a piece of raw garlic oh was it good or bad <laughs> it was intense oh my goodness oh look at these dices b of course they're all beautiful and perfect getting uh close to the the brim here. That's how we said, make sure if you're gonna do this, you have a big enough pot to put it all in. Oh, we lost one. Oh! oh! Okay, I'm gonna let you stir this all together till it's all combined. Gently. Gently. Oh boy. I know, that rice looks incredible. This might be the most beautiful rice we've ever made. I think it is. Okay, are we all combined? Yeah. <laughs> We are incorporated and looking good. I really want to just take a bite, but I'm going to hold out until. The I mean, it's all cooked, but we got to wait till it bakes. Yeah, I want, I want the true experience. I cannot even imagine how good this is going to be because that just looks like incredible. Oh, you just wait till that Swiss cheese gets on top. Okay, yes. So I have my 9x13 here. I went ahead and lightly greased it. So Bunky's going to dump all of our. Um, goodness our mixture in here and then we're gonna top it with the Swiss cheese but then we're not done there's more there's more after the Swiss cheese what else is there I can't tell you I'll tell you in a second <laughs> I think I know what it is <laughs> Wow is this just gonna slide right out maybe yeah push it push it oh my goodness bump Wow Oh yeah. My mouth is watering so bad. It's like cheesy rice. It's a delight. Y'all, this might be one of the best recipes we've ever tried. I have a feeling. Just get it all corner to corner? Yep. Okay, so I just got some Swiss cheese slices, which is all you need. And then you're just gonna lay them all over the top until you cover the entire casserole dish. Oh yeah, full yeah, coverage. We don't play over full here. Full coverage, please. Yes. Okay, now. Now, you save the rest of your Swiss, Swiss, Swiss cheese for sandwiches. That's right. Now we have some melted butter over here because y'all know we don't have a microwave. And then we also have some oh. breadcrumbs and we are going to sprinkle the top of it with some breadcrumb melted butter mixture. <laughs> Let you laugh at it. <laughs> Get the tinfoil. Y'all, I never read a recipe. It is so bad. It is so bad. I cannot follow directions. We were supposed to put our topping on after it baked for 15 minutes. So, we're going to put some tinfoil on and then let it just bake for like 20 25 minutes at 375 and then it should be good to go. We'll take the tinfoil off for like the last five minutes. Tinfoil. I love covering 
a Bunky, casserole with foil. I know you do. My Bunky loves it. So good. But if you're making this normal and you um, do follow directions, you can just pop it in the oven at 375 uncovered for 15 minutes. Then put your sprinkled topping on and then 10 more minutes after that. Hey -o. And now we wait. <laughs> okay, do y'all see this? Oh my goodness. We just stuck it underneath the broiler for just like two minutes to get those breadcrumbs like nice and crusty and brown. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is the land of Swiss cheese over here. <laughs> this, is, this is where I'm going. That's where you want to be. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Let's see if we can get... Oh, my let's, goodness. Let's come here. Bunk. Wow. That set up beautifully. <laughs> the five minute wait. Oh that's, my goodness. That's the trick. Look at that. Oh, wowzers. I'll take that thing. Okay. <laughs> Don't you love when we whisper? That's how you know we're really excited. <laughs> this is like so many things that I truly enjoy. Oh man. All together. Yes. Okay, before we dive into this, I just wanna say that I was kind of intimidated by this recipe because I feel like there was like a lot going on, but truly, as long as you prep everything first, it's just throwing it in a pot, stirring it all together, and then put it in the casserole dish. Mm -hmm. So even though it feels like there's more steps in this recipe, I really think it's like very simple to make. It looked like a lot of ingredients, yes. but they all just you just add them all in. Yeah, I'm all in. Okay, I cannot wait any longer. Please, please, Lord, do not let me get an onion. <laughs> Are you dead? I am dead. Oh. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Wow. <laughs> this is so good. This has all. I mean, obviously it has all the components of chicken cordon bleu, mm -hmm. but it really tastes like chicken cordon bleu. Wow. From like through and through. Yes. It's very impressive actually. The breadcrumbs on the top that give it that little crust and crunch, yeah, oh my gosh. That's very nice. And the, mm -hmm. um, there's like a, a very, it's very subtle, but that Dijon mustard Crucial, yes. however delicious. Yes, I, I think maybe the next time I would add even just a little bit more in. Mmm. And the rice is cooked. So perfect. I wish we had known about this sooner. Me too. Because this is good. This is going to be like in rotation for the monkey household for sure. There was like so much cheddar cheese in there. Uh huh. But it doesn't really taste like cheddar. Cherry. No. It's very, um,. The Swiss, the Swiss cheese is overpowering. It's so good, y'all. And all. singing to me. Well, I was about to say I wasn't really tasting any onion, but then I just got one. Oh gosh! Oh, I haven't gotten one yet. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so this is definitely going to go down as like a bunky favorite. This is so scrumptious. Y'all have to try it. I will leave the recipe linked in the description box. Also be sure you head down there and check out Sunday. I love you. Thank you for hanging out with us in the kitchen today. If you want to see more of these casserole recipes, be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.